on this sheet you can see that we have two design ideas. The first design idea here, made using paper strips, and it has been marked at two stars. It says the paper strips are straight, there is enough space for the ball, though it might be a bit tight here, and it has some simple features like holes. So what we really need is we need to improve our design so it's three stars. The assessment here has been what went well, the design is well laid out. EBI is add some more complex features. So we said here, what are we going to do? Well, here's the second design. It has complex features, so it has a ramp drawn here. There's a rectangle with an R in it, one here and one here. And the design, you can see the second design is more complex. It has a more complex route for the ball to follow and it has added drop holes. So we've written down there what improvements we've made and we've made a design that now if we assess it, it does have more complex features, it does have plenty of space for the ball. So this is now a three star design. Once we've got a design that we think is three stars, what we can do is we can take our square of MDF that we're going to put our maze on and we can carefully using a pencil transfer that design onto our square of MDF. So it's just careful following, drawing it rectangle by rectangle, adding the features, adding the balls where we think they might fall down and a start and finish. So we've added all these features onto our piece of MDF and now we're ready to start cutting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start to cut the plywood strips for the walls of our maze. What we need for this is we need to be we're going to use some plywood strips, we're going to use some PVA glue and going to be using a tenon saw. The safety rules with the PVA glue, if you get this on your clothes, make sure you wash it off with water first. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just take our pencil and one of the strips and offer that up and we can see our first strip needs to be that long. So we're going to put it onto the bench hook. We've put the bench hook the right way round so that we can see it's supported there. We're going to take our tenon saw and we're going to carefully saw our wooden strip. We might need to clean that up with a piece of abrasive paper first and then we can carefully Take our PVA glue, small piece of PVA glue, and set that onto our maze. Now we carefully have to make sure that we don't knock that. So as we build up our strips, as we build up our ramps onto our maze, we just have to be very careful that we don't knock these. We can build this up carefully and leave this strip by strip, and then leave this to dry for next lesson.